Hello and welcome back to Team Winger 5. Today we're going to be looking at the brand new ish Raspberry Pi Model B. Now I love my Raspberry Pi Model B, it's good fun and it does a lot of cool things for such a small, non power hungry computer. So inside we've got this little packaging here which contains the SD card. However, it's not just an SD card, we've actually just got an SD card adapter and the new SD card it uses is a micro SD card. Which is very cool. I'm sure everyone's got a lot of those lying around from the old mobile phone days. Well, back when they used memory cards, of course. Some still do, but not many. But here's the Raspberry Pi Model B. We've got the micro SD card slot on the bottom. It clicks in like you'd expect it would. We have some more pins on the bottom right there. And we've got some more USB ports, which is the most important aspect of all. We'll come on to that in a second. So from left to right, we've got power, HDMI, audio, HDMI port there, and we've got the audio. Flipping around, we've got the normal network port, it's exactly the same. And we've got four USB ports, that is double the amount of USB ports of the old Raspberry Pi, and much more interface pins, quite a lot more. Here we have the display adapter, so if you want to use a crazy screen for your Raspberry Pi, you can still do that. I should note that the Raspberry Pi is the same thing, it's just essentially the finished model. The main differences between the two, as I mentioned, are the GPIO headers, that's the pins on the right, you can see there is a lot more on the B+, which is on the left. There's four USB ports instead of two USB ports. The form factor is better, because these USB ports don't stick out 10 meters. Uses a micro SD card, which is much better. Better audio, apparently, from a low noise power supply. So that brings us on to the next point, which is a better power supply. So, so they've replaced the linear regulators on the Model B with switching ones. And what they claim is you'll get about 0.5 watt and 1 watt better power consumption. You can see everything's all moved around as well, so the audio is moved from the right side of the board to the left side of the board. But overall, these things are pretty much the same. I do think the B Plus is a bit smaller. It's a much better form factor, of course, with the USBs not sticking out. So I'm liking the B Plus even better than I like the B so far. What I've done here is installed the Raspberry operating system that came with the micro SD card, and I've plugged it in to my old Model B. So we're using 2.5 watts according to the hiss. Now we're going to do exactly the same with the Model B Plus and see if there's any difference. As according to them, there should be some difference, if nothing else. So the B Plus is now plugged in, I have a clear plastic case for that instead. And there is, yeah, I mean, 0.1 watts it's better, 0.2 watts, 0.3 watts. I did find it ended up about 0.2 watts better. So yes, the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus is better than the Model B. Purely just because it's a better size and a better shape. Thanks for watching everyone.